Hey, what's up, guys? It's Phil Trigger here with a combo video. Uh, today, I'm going to show you two combos uh, that you can pull off so far. Um, please keep in mind that in this game, it's called Vanguard, not Yu-Gi-Oh. You cannot combo with every single card, and you usually don't even combo. This co game is about individual units doing their work, and you placing them in the right spot, and, you know, attacking and defending, all that jazz. It's mainly about getting to your opponent before they can get to you. It's not about comboing. You can rarely combo, in fact. Uh, in this set, set two, you can basically just do two combos that I can think off the top of my head. Um, honestly, there aren't too many combos in this game you can pull off, so please keep that in mind. Anyways, today I'm going to show you guys the Barkle Soul Saver Dragon combo. Uh, this is a very simple combo, and it's what makes Barkle and Soul Saver Dragon so deadly in this format. Uh, this is also the reason why ba Barkle is going to be restricted as your starting vanguard. Um, so here, let me show you guys. It's very simple. First off, in your first turn, you ride Pungle. You call... Ah, sorry, doing this one that. Call Barkle to your rear guard. Over here or over here, doesn't really matter. Um, then you use Barkle's effect. You rest, search your deck, you grab Flogel. You call it to the field as well. Then you simply end your turn. Your opponent attacks... They deal one damage to you. Oh my god, one damage. And then your turn starts. You draw your card. You do not ride. Um, and then everything stands back up. Voila. Use Barkle's effect again. Voila. You grab... Future Knight. Loo. This guy. Um, and then use his effect to counter blast one. Voila. Then you soul blast. I mean, soul charge. Him. Voila. Flogel. And Barkle. Then you superior call Blaster Blade. This is why you don't ride at all. I mean, superior ride. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so this is why you do not ride and you get free Blaster Blade. This is also the reason why Roll Paladins can run a, a low grade 2 count. But anyways, uh, so you go this, you do your stuff, you attack, blah, blah, blah. Next, next turn, you stand, draw, and then you set up your field. Remember, set up your field before. Now, on th uh, third turn, you're right, Soul Saber Dragon. Now, Soul Saber Dragon's effect is Soul Blast 5, and you can get its effect off. Now, look at what I have in my soul. I have five cards exactly. Why is that? Because of Barkle's effect. He Soul Charged 1, 2, 3. Three cards into my soul, while I usually would have only had two. Um, so, from the get go, you can already use Soul Saber's effect, boost your other units they have on board, and then push your game. It's very, very simple. A G2 rush, um, when you. Call out the Blaster Blade, deal some damage here and there. The next turn, you go into Soul Saber, you win the game. It's very broken, very simple, uh, very easy to accomplish. Uh, it's It honestly requires little to no setup, because the play is already there for you, it comes naturally, and all you need is the Soul Saber and one uh, Grade 1 in your hand. It's simple as that. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Barkle is going to get restricted soon enough. Anyways, now for another odd combo. Uh, this is more of a uh, card grabbing combo. You can accomplish it in OTTs. So we'll have Al Amaterasu, the broken one, and as your vanguard. <laughs> and um, her effect is, you know, you check the top card, you soul charge, check the top card of your deck, uh, and then either put it on the top or bottom. Now that effect, it helps you set up triggers, but thanks to a card called Psychic Bird, um, we're allowed to kind of fish those cards out that we need. For example, let's say that card is a Shakala, a Null Guard, and you want it, but you don't want to drive check into it. So we call out Bird, so charge, draw the card, voila. Um, you can also pull off this combo with Coco plus uh, Psychic Bird, and it's basically the same results. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's very simple, <laughs> and it allows you to fish out cards or grab anything you need and then set up for a trigger play right after. Uh, just a very good combo overall, very good utility, good uh, consistency. Um, and yeah, that's a bit for this combo video, guys. Uh, hope you like it, and please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Later!